For the first time ever, the Pennsylvania State Little League champion team is from urban Philadelphia. The team is full of kids who now love the green grass after spending a lot of time on the concrete. Our Pat Shiraki introduces us to these little leaguers with big dreams. With each crack of the bat, even at practice, the Taney Dragons have big dreams. It's really cool and I'm really excited for the opportunity, especially because it's something that's like only once in a lifetime. The Taney Dragons are Pennsylvania State champions, now chasing the Little League national title by way of the Mid-Atlantic Regionals in Bristol, Connecticut. Excited? I think if we can do everything that we have to do so far, that we've done so far, then I, I think we can make it to Williamsport. It's cool how we get like recognition for being from the city, but then the, the, the reason we get recognition is because it actually is kind of harder. Harder because the Little League in Center City has scattered resources like practice fields. Alex Rice is manager. This is my favorite part of, of baseball, coming over here, watching the kids I've known since they were six or seven all come together and all, we got all different ages here. Taney's only girl, Monet Davis, who is also the team's pitching ace, wants to make a difference with success. We're trying to put the name Taney out there in the world to let everyone know that inner city kids can make a big difference in the baseball industry. The inner city team's strong play even triggered a question about J.J. Richardson's age eligibility. His parents had to produce his birth certificate. It happens sometimes though. But that's because you're tall and you're good. Yeah, well, not so much good just because I'm tall. Humility, hard work, and focus. Monet's pitching style is simple. Just throw strikes. That's all you got to do is throw strikes. And win. These are little leaguers with big dreams for Philadelphia. They know over the next week they'll play four games, and they are hoping for more. In South Philadelphia, Pat Shiraki, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.